right, guys. I'm on my way to pick up my friend Jen. Sorry about that. I had to see if that was her. I was watching the uh, Gabby Petito thing on Hulu from, I think, ABC. And it's really funny to listen to some of those people like they totally know what happened in that case. And they don't because they're not the investigators. So they're not privy to some of the things. And since Brian the dude is dead, they probably just closed the case thinking that it was him, unless there's stuff in his notebook that says otherwise. I mean, don't get me wrong. Weird things happen in our national parks. Um, and wouldn't have been weird to me if somebody would have driven the van and tortured him or something and put him in Florida, but that also is where he lived, so. We can't always say it's an open and shut case without all the evidence. So, anyways, I thought it was interesting. I just so pretty tired. just now reminded that those stupid things are sliding around. I mean, it's a clip all cleaned up. My hands are cold. See? That's how cool it was today. It's only 62 degrees right now. It's almost love weather. Funny part is tomorrow's supposed to be 85. I would love that they were wrong. I would love for it to stay like this. It's so wintry looking right now. And we have orange and yellow trees because of it. Oh, and red too. I like that. Got some fall colors going on. I don't know why this car in front of me is going so slow. which uh, with our weather and just wearing a mask and all that stuff, it's understandable. But as soon as she said that, 
her teacher said, pack your things and go to the office. And they took her temperature and she had no temperature. And then she now has to have two tests, two negative tests to come back. She's already taken one and is negative. Um, and luckily it's Thanksgiving week, but it's just ridiculous. Um, they were masked and I guess they don't trust in the masks working. It's just ridiculous. Really ridiculous. You know, then don't have them wear freaking masks if you're that worried with the masks on. Maybe wait until she develops symptoms like actual symptoms with a fever until you decide to send her home. I don't know. That just, it, it's annoying to me. I, I think we need, just need to go back to, okay, you're sick, stay home. You have a fever, don't be fever free for 24 hours. Cause it's at a point of fever that most diseases spread. You know, but if a kid is like coughing up a storm, yeah keep them home. <sighs> it's just silly. It's like, it, it makes me wonder if they're getting paid now for those kind of absences because otherwise they would want, um, want those kids in the seats no matter what's going on. All right. Well, I'm at my destination, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. See you guys probably Monday.